India's first ever solo observatory, Aditya L1, has successfully completed its first orbit around the Lagrangian point L1 of the Sun-Earth system, almost 1.5 million kilometers away from the Earth. Now, the Indian Space Research Organization has just announced that it has precisely executed the third maneuver to prevent it from deviating from its intended path. Now, if you remember, the spacecraft Aditya L1 was launched last year on September 2nd. It is country's first ever space mission to study the sun. After gliding through the space for nearly four months, it reached its intended halo orbit on January 6th. Normally, it will take about 178 days to complete one revolution around this L1 point in space. However, during the travel, the spacecraft will encounter various disturbances which may cause it to deviate from its targeted orbit. Now, scientists from the Indian Space Research Organization have placed Aditya L1 in a halo orbit which is periodic and three-dimensional. And that is why it will require several maneuvers from time to time to ensure that it continues on its intended orbit. But why was this important really? Now, the ISRO team has already performed two station-keeping maneuvers, first on February 22nd, second on June 7th, and the most recent one on Tuesday, so that the spacecraft continues its trajectory. Now, the third maneuver was performed on Tuesday by firing the thrusters to keep it in the halo orbit around the L1 point. With this, the team has successfully validated its flight dynamic softwares, which were also developed in-house at the UR Rao Satellite Center, Bengaluru. Now, scientists from the Indian Space Research Organization tell us that this journey of Aditya L1 around the Sun-Earth L1 point involves modeling of complex dynamics. It requires understanding of various disturbing forces which are acting on the spacecraft and can help determine the path accurately and precise its future journey. If the firing of the thrusters had not gone as planned, it would have led Aditya L1 to deviate from its path and, of course, affect the mu uh, mission's future. Now, even though the sun is about 150 million kilometers away from the L1 point, it will provide the spacecraft an unhindered view of the sun for the next five years. Now, this L1 point, which ISRO has selected, is such that the gravitational force of the sun, the earth, and the centrifugal force of the orbit balance each other out and keep the spacecraft circling around this L1 point without expending much fuel and energy. Now, if you also remember, Aditya L1 carries seven scientific payloads on board, including the much uh, touted visible emission line coronagraph, which was developed by Indian Institute of Astrophysics, Bengaluru. The mission will study different solar regions to seek answers to questions that have intrigued scientists for years. The birth of solar storms and solar flares, the impact on the space weather, the vast temperature difference between the solar surface and its outer layer and several more. Most recently, uh, two of the remote sensing payloads of Aditya L1 also captured a recent event around May 8th to May 15th when uh, solar flares erupted and led to coronal mass ejections. Now, these were associated with major geomagnetic storms on Earth on May 11. Now, that was all about Aditya L1. Meanwhile, Indian Space Research Organization has also prepared the project report for Chandrayaan-4, where it is gearing up to collect lunar samples from the Moon. Well, this is going to be a very, very long process, and ISRO is going to perform a space docking experiment later this year. It's also preparing for India's first human space flight, which is Gaganyaan. Now, that's all from the Indian Space Research Organization. Stay tuned to get to know more updates.